You can agree with me that Mazen Namdekano had been right all along. To me, oh, I know he was right. For many years, Mazen Namdekano had been agitating. I know he's always right. But to them, the Afon Jazz, to them, the so called uh, Nigerians, to them, the so called uh, Kabars, they knew that this young man is right. Now, due to their ego, they don't want to accept the truth. Now, the wife of a former governor of Ondo State, by name, Akrodolu, who just passed away some couple of months ago, come out again now to confirm that Nigeria is zoo. Remember that the Northern Elders, leader of the Northern Elders, or also the Speaker, or you can call him the Secretary General, Ango Abdullahi, he came out again and confirmed that Nigeria is a zoo, that Nigeria have expired. What we are doing in Nigeria now is just a charade. There's no anything that is happening in Nigeria that anybody will come out and say, I am proud to be a Nigerian. But look at me. I, Okute Amandia Neze, I am a household will come out and tell you, I am proud to be a Biafran. Come rain, come sunshine. In confirmation of most Muslims that they can have been saying since this Yoruba woman now have come out now to air her own view on the this matter of Nigeria. Just like what Soro so said the other day. Initially, people thought that Soro was a, a CIA agent. But I never disputed that uh, rumor. To confirm the whole thing that Nigeria is a zoo, the president of a country is a CIA agent working for another country, in his own country, just for his own selfish interest. Let it be known to this generation and future generation to come, that there was a president who is a stooge and also a CIA agent. If you know what a CIA agent means, it's just like an informant. A president being an informant. I cried about this in long time ago when the issue of, uh, uh, what they call it, CSU, Abi, uh, Chicago State University, was going back and forth. When FBI came out and said uh, they would lose 2,500 uh, of Tunumbu's uh, misdeeds when he was uh, then uh, living in the United States of America. Imagine FBI giving three months ahead to the people and also to the person they want to release the files so that the person will get uh, prepared and come for them so that they will strike a deal. I said it that Tunumbu will be a stooge. They will use Tunumbu mercilessly against his own people because of his past uh, lifestyle, because of his past uh, uh, deadly deals that he did in the U U.S. Some people came to my comment section, lambasted me. Some people said, because I am crying because Obi lose the election, because I'm a supporter of Obi. Just like what Martin Nandukan said 12, said 12 years ago, some people now came out now and begin to say it, and people are praising them. Like they are, uh, they are the ones, the Messiah. But somebody said that in twelve years ago. That is Martin Namdekano. I said it period to when uh, FBI are doing all that shenanigans. We are going to release. We are not going to release. We are going to release. We are not going to release. I said these people will turn Tunumbu to a mere pupa. That each time they want something from Tunumbu, either information or they want to strike a nonsense deal that will be to the interest of the U.S. Then it will be. It will not be the interest of his own people that is leading. They will call Tunumbu now. We are going to release your uh, uh, tapes, uh, uh, 2,500 documents, and Tunumbu will not say that skater and do their bidding. And the thing will dies down. It, 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 it is happening today. My word, just like that of Martin Namdekano, we see things before it happens. We say things the way they are. We don't propagate and we don't paint words. So those people who came out that time to challenge me to, to say all manner of things, the time for you people to come out now and tell me sorry. Just like the northerners now have concluded that they will go to beg Martin Namdekano and tell him to forgive them for betraying him and also not agreeing on his words. What are we saying? Nigeria is a zoo country. No me talk about this one I'm reading from another Yoruba platform. And this message is, or this rather, this statement is meant by a former first lady of Ondo State, wife of Betty, I mean uh, Betty Akredolu. She says, Nigeria is a zoo country, says former Ondo first lady, Betty Akredolu, 
whose husband refused to hand over to deputy, deputy despite protracted ailment. This is the headline of what I'm going to treat this morning. Do me a favor. If you don't share this message, then I will know that you are not part of what you are doing. Then I know that you are not part of the ideology of the Biafrans. What she said is not a new thing to my ear. Maybe it might be new to your ear, but it's not new to my ears. Nandi Kanu said it long ago. That this country is a zoo. And they lambasted him. They conspired and they kidnapped him. Now, a first lady, let me see if they will arrest this woman or not. Uh -huh, nah. Because they say they hold him as Nandi Kanu based on his utterances. Not on a Felony, uh, treason me felony, you know, based on utterances on Radio Biafra. They where did he make that utterances in UK and you arresting him in Kenya and uh, persecuting him in Nigeria, which is against international law. Let us go straight to the reason why we are here, my people. I don't want to talk too much. In September of 2023, the politician returned to Nigeria after a three month medical leave in Germany, but instead of going to Ondo State, he stayed in Ibadan, the Oyo State capital. On those uh, immediate past first lady, Mrs. Betty Akredolu has described Nigeria as a total zoo. <laughs> Betty said this on Wednesday while drawing parallels between the country's presidential election and that of the United States via her ex account, formerly known as uh, Twitter. Just thinking on what she said, though, 2023 Nigerian presidential election, total votes casted 25 million, counting duration. Five days. <laughs> I will read. The, I will read the post where she made it. Twenty twenty four U.S. presidential election total votes casted one hundred and fifty five million, counting duration, approximately ten hours only. <laughs> okay, make you see. Um, she wrote it on her. Uh, this one is Betty Anya Akredolu, PhD. Betty, okoni <laughs> bokawo. Just think, you know exactly what she said. I, I'm not going to retrieve those words. Moral of the, the, the story is when dishonesty is prioritized, simple things become difficult. Moving forward. However, one of her followers, Poletsi at Paul underscore Oza, commented on the post saying, Truth indeed is indeed bitter. I can understand that the attacks on her, we are not doomed in this country, Nigeria. Sorry, we are doomed in this country, Nigeria, because people must attack her. People who are benefiting from the infamy that is happening in Nigeria, we attack her. Replying to Paul's uh, Paul, police comment, Mr. Kredoro said, Very bitter indeed. Who will rescue Nigeria? What a zoo country. <laughs> you get the point now. Betty's husband, Rotimi Kredoro, died on December 27th of 2023. After his death, Doyin Odubowale, the former senior special assistant on special duties and strategy to the late Ondo state governor, said he was weak when it came to matters involving his wife. On his wife's management, Aketi was a weakling, he's, he's, he has said. Betty's late husband, Akredolu, a senior advocate of Nigeria, SAN, and former president of the Nigerian Bar Association, MBA, died after months of protracted ailment, which was covered up by the families. This followed his re-election as the state governor in October of 2020 and inauguration for a second term in office in February of 2023. However, during his second term in office, Akredolu had to flood abroad for treatment for medical attentions. In September of 2023, the politician returned to Nigeria after a three-month medical leave in Germany. But he did not go back to his own state. Rather, he chooses to stay in Ibadan. It was after his death that his family disclosed that he was suffering from a prostate cancer. Meanwhile, Betty and other family members kept his health issues hush-hush to maintain their grip on the affairs of the state. In November of 2021, Akredo appointed his son, Babajide, as the Director General of the Performance and Project Implementation Monitoring Unit, Office of the Governor of Ondo State, cutting, 
control verses. Despite being under pressure from opposition parties to resign, Akredoli refused to resign or hand over power to his deputy, now Governor, Lok Ayede Towa. In line with the 1999 constitution, his ex also defended his action or inaction, saying he could govern the state from anywhere. That is the infamy in Nigeria. Sahara Reporters exclusively reported how a forensic report by the Association of Forensic Professionals of Nigeria confirmed that the Ireland governor's signature was forged on an official document. Meanwhile, there were indications that there were more of such forgeries. Sahara reporters got the forensic report signed by Mr. Nuhu Kutana Tanko, who stated that there are strong indications the author of known specimen, handwriting and signature on, uh, on the known documents marked KK4, did not write the question signatories on question on questioned documents marked QQ2. The investigation was initiated by the State Commissioner for Energy and Mineral Resources, Razak Obe, who wrote to the Deputy Governor Loki Aide Tewa, confirming the forgery of Akrodolu's signature on an official document relating to his ministry. In the Commissioner's letter on Friday titled Forgery of Mr. Governor's Signature on Official Documents, and dated December 7, he wrote, I write to, be, to bring to your attention a critical matter that requires immediate action. It has been confirmed that the signature of Mr. Governor on a certain document has been forged. The irregularities in the signature were first observed when a file from my ministry was returned through the office of the Secretary to the State Government, SSG. This is the only file that has been returned so far out of the five files that were sent to Mr. Governor's approval about two months ago. Upon a closer inspection, I noticed sign uh, significant uh, differences between the suspicious signature and handwriting and Mr. Governor's known signatures and round handwriting in the file. Concerned about the gravity of the situation, I decided to seek a forensic review before disclosing my discovery. I sent the suspicious signature, handwriting samples, and copies of the old regular signatories to forensic experts who have now confirmed that the suspicious signature and handwriting were indeed forged. Considering the possibility that such forgery may be widespread, this has stop of utmost importance to the government of the people of Ondo State. I have attached a copy of the forensic report and the relevant pages from the file for your reference, he added. Meanwhile, in 2009, Akredolu asked the then President Omaru Musaya Radua to resign as he could no longer perform his functions. Akredolu, then President of the Nigerian Bar Association, repeatedly called on the late, uh, late President to resign due to his ill health and allow his deputy, Gulo Jonathan, to take over. Yaradua and Jonathan were elected as president and vice president in 2007. He frequently fell ill and eventually died in May of 2010. On one occasion, on December 8th of 2009, Akredolu Dolu said, the prayer of the association is that the president should recover fast, return to his office and resign. No matter how much you love your country, it should not be at the detriment of your health. It is not your party or your wife that will decide whether you are capable of handling said matters or not. It is only your doctors that can decide that. The bar is not asking the president not to come back and take his seat, but the writing must be done. We cannot see him, Yaradua. We don't know where he is and don't even know what he is doing. I created a little old routers in a report published on January 5th of 2010. All we are asking is that the vice president be sworn in as acting president. But Akredolu, who later faced a similar health challenge as Yaradua, seemed to love Ondo more than himself. Akredolu was uh, conspicuously conspic 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 missing at public events. 
is stretched under further raised eyebrows among Nigerians who express concerns about the governor's health status. Sahara reporter reported how Betty Anyaun Akredolu and her son, Babajide, kept the governor in Ibadan against his wish. Sahara reporters learned that at a time when Akredolu was lucid enough, he requested his family to take him to Owo, his hometown in Ondo State, saying he preferred to die there. However, sources said his family, led by Betty and Babajide, shunned the helpless governor request over fear that his true state of health will come to light. According to source, they were afraid that such a scenario will limit their grip on power as the as the de facto leaders of the state. These are the news that we brought to you this morning. Please like, share, comment, and make sure you keep subscribing for more interesting videos coming your way. Let me know what you think. If you are still a one Nigerianist, do you still believe a one Nigerianist? Or you are make a U-turn, knowing fully well that Nigeria now have been have been called a zoo in many occasions by different parties, different people, different regions, different uh, ethnic group, and di different different vibes have recorded Nigeria as a zoo. Even the world at large are also seeing Nigeria as a zoo because your president is a stooge and also an agent. In fact, no, no, don't call him agent. Call him an informant to another country. A president of the most black populous nation on earth. This is this is this is this is this is, this is unbelievable. This is unbelievable, and it is a call for action. If the so-called Nigerian government, who have been, who have been doomed, in fact, they they, they behave like Mumu. Anyway, we're going to help me uh, share this video so that we get to every nooks and crannies. I'll be right back. Bye bye for now, my people. Okay,